At least 14 Eastern Visayan lawmakers led by House Majority Leader Martin Romualdez call for a review of the Hatit Probinsya program, given the recent surge in coronavirus cases in the region. The legislators say Thursday, June 18, the spike in COVID-19 cases in the region was observed as soon as Hatit Probinsya was implemented. Eastern Visayas records 333 cases of COVID-19 as of Wednesday, June 17. The region saw 69 new cases, the biggest spike in cases recorded in the region in a single day, on Wednesday. The recent surge in COVID-19 cases in northern Mindanao and Lanao del Sur has also been blamed on the Hatit Probinsya program. Hatid Probinsya is an ongoing short-term program to transport people unable to return to their provinces due to quarantine restrictions. This is different from Senator Bongo's project Balik Probinsya, which is now temporarily suspended. On Wednesday night, police arrest 16 foreigners who allegedly partied and violated social distancing rules inside a bar in Makati. Makati Police Investigation Unit Chief Major Gideon Ines Jr. says they arrested 15 Cameroonians and one Nigerian and retrieved one plastic sachet of shabu during the raid. Meantime, researchers based in China and the United States find that the chance of infecting someone jumped to 17.1% among cohabitants, as opposed to the 2.4% chance of infecting someone a patient did not live with. The researchers say the probability of a COVID-19 carrier infecting a family member or flatmate was significantly higher at 39% before they started showing symptoms. This suggests the virus is easily transmissible within its incubation period. As of Thursday, June 18, there are 27,799 coronavirus cases in the country. Of the 562 new cases reported, 481 are fresh cases and 81 are late cases. There are 1,116 deaths and 7,090 recoveries so far. Meantime, the Philippines still needs around 83,000 contact tracers to be considered properly equipped to detect the spread of the coronavirus. The Interior and Local Department says the country has around 52,000 contact tracers. The Philippines needs a total of 135,000 contact tracers to meet the 1 to 800 ratio of standards set by the World Health Organization.